出発しましょう。Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with a new project on the bench, the Invasion of Astro Monster Planetary Defense Vehicle Willis Jeep. Now I have built this kit before, but I thought this was a really great reuse of it by round two, and I love the box art that they have here. Taking a look around, got that image on the side, got callouts for what comes in the kit. Got a write-up of the movie, as well as some photographic evidence that the Jeeps did in fact appear in it. I think that's the same footage that they had in most of the early Godzilla movies, but that's okay. Taking a look inside the box, first thing we've got here is the decal sheet. And they give you U.S. Army version and the planetary defense version, so that's a nice touch. The instruction sheet is a pretty standard MPC. It's got the single folded sheet, exploded diagrams, nothing too complicated. This side got the optional equipment. So you can build the Surrey Jeep. And over here we've got the 50 cal and the recoilless. Take a look at the kit itself. First up, we got the frame, which looks pretty straight, pretty clean, especially considering the age of this tooling and how many times it's been repopped. Looks pretty good. The wheels look pretty good as well. Also got the grill, radiator. Things look pretty sharp there. Yeah, looking at it, got the lug nut detail and the vents. That's looking pretty good. The hood. Was supposed to be on that parts tray, just fell off. We've got the engine, which is the flathead four cylinder. We've got intake, battery, belt, fuel tank, two axles here, and the four springs. And take a look at those shock absorbers. They've actually got some pretty decent ends on them. And next up, we have the seats, the dashboard with some gauges cast in it, the windshield frame, floor, tailgate, and the exhaust pipe. We've got the optional grill here, the axe, shovel, other tailgate, bumpers, handles, got a couple of rifles here, can be used in this or for other project. We've got the 50 cal down here with its ammo box and the light and some chassis details. Got some more optional parts here. Got the top for the Surrey version and the handles for the stretcher and the recoilless rifle barrel. We've got the base for the gun as well as some of the accessories for that. Those are looking pretty good. And we've got over here at the stretcher, radio antenna, backpack radio. Again, those are looking pretty good. And next up, we got the body. That's looking pretty good. Do have a bit of flash over here on this fender. So, that right there will need to be taken care of. But otherwise, that's looking pretty clean. Got some separately bagged parts here. It's got the headlights for both grill options and the windshield. And then we've got five tires, and uh, these are not World War II appropriate tires, so that actually sort of works for this release of the kit. We've got chrome parts tree here. And I think new for this issue of the kit is all of these hubcaps here. Because that was something that had been reduced to one, but those are the ones I used in the Wayne's World build. Elsewhere, we've got all of the chromed up accessories for the Surrey build. 
We got the mirrors, the horn, engine dress up parts, got some chrome bumpers up here. So if you really wanted to bling up the Jeep, you can totally do that. All in all, chrome looks pretty clean in this release. And the last thing that they give you, get it out here, is they give you a Godzilla backdrop for this. And that, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, got mountain background, got a power tower right there. You can punch that out. And uh, yeah, taking a look at how it's supposed to all be set up. Yeah, that, that's not bad. That's kind of fun. So I got to give uh, round two some credit for that there. So there we go. The Godzilla Planetary Defense Vehicle from Invasion of the Astro Monster. Plan on doing this one pretty much box stock with the recoilless rifle. Uh, I might make a couple of parts upgrades here and there, but don't plan on doing anything major. Uh, just kind of want to have some fun with it. So, I'm going to be starting in on this. I'll have a new update next week. Check back then. And thanks for watching.